we're going to look at error messages. They could be really intimidating and seem uh, like you're reading a foreign language at first. So I'm going to create, we actually already saw an error message in one of the earlier videos. Uh, so what I'm going to do, instead of put an inch in here, let's go ahead and make a string. String, um, I'll call it s equals, um, I'll just name it after myself, why not? And instead of putting inch in here, we'll do s. So we'll put a string in, but remember that percent d right here means it's expecting a number. Uh, an integer in particular. So everything looks good for O. All right, so we got a whole lot of red down here. And let's look at what's actually going on. I'll make this a little bigger so we can keep that font bigger. This is called a stack trace. Of course, that's explained in the book, but let's look at an actual one here. All right, this formatter.java, we didn't write any of this code right here. You can click on it if you want to. Um, the first line of code that I see that I wrote is right here. So the one I really want to look at is at the bottom of this, and it is chapter3.java, which of course that's the file we're looking at up top, colon 29. That means line 29 is the problem. So there's no red here. There's no actual red, so let me run the program. Uh, but of course it did have an error. Now what error did it have? That's at the top here illegal format conversion exception. Um, and it says uh, this D or this integer is not a string. And of course, I, I did that on purpose, but uh, in case you didn't do your error on purpose, uh, you need to know how to read them. The most important line is really the first line right here to know what type of exception. Uh, so it's a legal format conversion exception. And then basically the last line of code you wrote, which should be the last uh, part of the stack trace. Um, and if you're looking somewhere else, if you click on it, it will move the cursor to the line of code in the right file, which is a nice thing. Um, let's go ahead and get crazy and click on Princeton.java. We didn't write this code. You don't need to worry about any of this code, but if, if you're curious, you can you can look at the other, uh, you can look at Princeton.java. Uh, I don't wanna look at that now. Um, you don't need to worry about these last two right here. Those aren't important. Of course, build failed, obviously. Uh, all right, so that's how to read the uh, stack trace. I'll shrink that back down. Uh, you can do some type casting, um, which is changing types. Uh, so we will do that next.